to do verification of ohm's law practically so in this we have rps so we are going to connect uh, regulated power supply from here to here and from here to from negative negative supply from negative supply to here so we have connected rps after that we have to connect ammeter so this is the ammeter of range 0 to 200 milliamps and here so ammeter positive should be connected to positive side and negative should be connected to negative side after that there is a voltmeter here there is a resistance here so here we are taking 1 kilo ohm resistor so we have to connect 1 kilo ohm resistor here after that there is a voltmeter here so we have to connect 0 to 30 volts range voltmeter digital voltmeter so positive to positive and negative to negative after that we have to switch on the circuits switch on rps switch on rps after switching on rps then slowly you have to vary the regulated power supply so so first value is zero so here we are going to take first voltage value is zero so by putting zero voltage you have to take down the readings so practically here we got zero volts next we have to apply this one gradually up to see the voltmeter and apply up to two volts so now the voltage is two volts so from two volts we are getting 2.2 milliamps so in practical we have to write 2.2 milliamps next apply 4 volts slowly apply 4 volts now we are getting 4.5 milliamps next apply 6 volts so here we are getting 6.6 .6 milliamps next apply 8 volts Now we are getting 8.8 .8 milliamps. Next, last one that is of 10, that is 10.9 milliamps. So after getting this, practically we have to do theoretical values also. So theoretical values I will be telling you later. So this is how you have to do. After that, again reduce the regulated power supply and switch off the connections.